Uh, hello folks, my name is Edward Hinsley Okran and uh, today I'll be taking you through how to what, code the tax formula or the 2020 PE tax formula or the income tax formula into Excel, okay? Um, no need to waste time, let's just start. So we'll be using two formulas, okay? That's the if and mean. Those are the two formulas that we'll be using in this particular operation um, or calculation. And I think you will bear with me that um, tax is actually working on the chargeable income. That's when you've deducted all statutory. That's if any. Okay. So basically, we assume that our chargeable income is what is two thousand. Okay. So this is how we're going to start we're using the if. Okay. The if starts say if. So if this. And the first thing that we know is that um, the first three one nine is tax free. The next hundred. The next is what is multiplied by five percent. The next one twenty is multiplied by ten percent, and all this that's how it is. So you're going to use these same figures in this calculation, okay? That's why I've actually brought them here. But I'm not going to map any of them to the formula. I'll just key it as it is, so that you can use this formula in any other form, even when you don't have this, okay? So a two minus or three one nine. If a two minus three one nine is greater than zero, then what are we saying? What we're saying is that. A2 minus 319 or the minimum sorry the, the minimum of A2 minus 319 um, and 100 should be multiplied by what 5% if it's false, then bring zero. Then, okay. So basically, that's what we're saying. And um, let me just explain again this little that I've done here. Because this is what we'll be replicating in all other steps. Okay. So what we're saying is that this charge, if this chargeable income minus the first tax free is greater than zero, then what we're saying is that Excel should look at the minimum of what a two minus three one nine, which is this two thousand minus three one nine and hundred, the least of it. So if A2 minus 319 is, let's say, is equal to, let's say, 1,000, then Excel should pick 100 and not 1,000 because 100 is the minimum of 1,000 in this particular situation, okay? Okay, so I multiply by 5, as we do, because if the first tax free is 0, then, or if this one is greater than 0, then A2, the chargeable income minus 319, the minimum of it in 100 should what we multiply by what the first percentage that's what five percent. I don't know if I'm making sense. So, so we'll be replicating this same concept in the um, in the next steps, in the next hundred, in the next one twenty, in the next three thousand, in the next sixteen thousand four hundred and sixty one, and also exceeding two thousand. So no need for me to repeat this whole thing again. I can just sort copy what I've done first. I can just copy this one. Okay. And just bring my addition sign and paste this and just change some few things because it's not the same the next step is what if a2 minus what the cumulative this is the cumulative chargeable income is what minus 419 is greater than zero then the minimum of a2 minus 419 okay and the next 120 okay Multiply by ten percent should yeah. So basically the same thing that we're doing here. So we're saying that if a two minus four one nine is greater than zero, then the minimum of a two minus four one nine, or Excel should pick the minimum of a two minus four one nine or one twenty. So you either you pick either of these, the minimum of either of these two. Okay, and multiply by ten. Plus the same step again. I'll just paste what I did earlier on and just change some few things. It makes it easier because you don't have to go through the basics. You have to change some few weddings in there. This one is one hot. It's what 3000, sorry. 539. The new of this and what? And 3000 times 17.5. 
17.5 if it's false then it should be zero okay plus you can paste it again so at the end you don't, you don't get confused at the end of the day okay so right now we've moved to if what a2 minus what using what the chargeable income the cumulative chargeable income so we've got into 3539 is greater than zero then the minimum of this minus 35 the or the, that's the or the chargeable income minus also the cumulative chargeable income 39 and what the minimum of this and 16461 times so 25% okay the minimum of that should work. so if this minus this is what is greater than one six four six one then excel automatically pick one six four six one and multiply by twenty and vice versa and if one six four six one is rather greater than this then excel should rather pick the minimum and multiply it by what the rate again bring your plus okay then you paste this if a2 minus what the next one is what is two thousand It's greater than zero. The minimum of, but this when you get to this point, when the, um, the part where it exceeds twenty thousand, you don't need to bring the minimum again. Okay, it's not relevant to bring the minimum again because it's not compared to any other bit. What what you're saying is that if it exceeds twenty thousand, then what it needs to do is that the A two, which is for the charitable income, minus twenty thousand. 20,000 times 5% and if it's false guess what return zero so this is basically how it is so let's see if what we've done is correct enter okay so we had 272.675 as our tax so um, interestingly GRE has this particular um, app okay you can try to check with it if that's exactly what it should retain okay if exactly what it should retain so this is basically how it is so you're using just two formulas you're just merging two formulas to, to get a result that you need and you need using what the if and the mean a recap of what we've done so far so you said that if what this charitable income minus the first 319 is greater than zero then what you're doing is that excel should take what the minimum of the a2 minus 319 and 100 and multiply by what the rate okay so we move through the steps okay we move through the steps and eventually we will get the actual tax that needs to be charged so if you are receiving it um, or, or you have a charitable income of let's say um, 2000 this is the tax you'll be paying okay you can replicate this here you can replicate this here and let's say if you are, if you are also taking let's say an allowance of 300 and this is how much you want you'll be paying on that okay so mean that you don't pay any tax on 300 and cities and getting because the tax said that the first 319 is tax free okay what if I'm taking let's say a share income of 400. I think that I will be a charge of 4 CD 5 pesos on how much I'm taking. That's if the share of income is what is 400. So you can try this and you can test it with the apps that you have because GRE has a, an app on Android um, Play Store. Um, and also, they also have, um, I think they have also have the PE tax formula. You can do that to check what you, you've done so far if it's correct. But either ways, believe me, you if you go through this religiously, holistically as it should be, you should be able to retain the right values and the right figures as it should be. So thank you folks for watching and you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. The name is Edward Lins Leokran. I haven't changed anything. So you can subscribe to learn more. I'll be placing this the link to this video on LinkedIn, on my Facebook page, um, so that you can have access to it. You can also share your comments on each of them posting that I'll be doing or if you have anything that you want to ask me to you can also ask me 
time you go through. Okay, God bless you and thanks for watching.